Hello and welcome to this tutorial on how to set up your own Jabber server. Uh, so what we're going to do first, uh, we're going to assume that you have none of the prerequisites installed and we're going to go ahead and download something known as a XAMPP server or XAMPP server. Uh, basically what the, this entails is it is a Apache web server, offers MySQL, PHP, and Perl. So go ahead into Google, type in XAMPP takes you to the Apache Friends website. Once you're on here, you want to go ahead and click on XAMPP for Windows. And then from here you can just download XAMPP. Now I'm going to go ahead and choose the installer. It's the easiest way I know of to install it. And it's going to kick off that download here. So save that. Okay, now that the uh, download is finished here, go ahead and run this. By the way, I'm doing this on a 2008 server, uh, but uh, you can do this on any Windows installation. Uh, you can actually do this on a Linux or Mac installation as well. So we'll go ahead and we'll create an icon. Uh, we'll create this start folder. We'll install Apache and MySQL. So we'll go ahead and click install. And this installer is going to run here for a minute. Okay. The installation has finished. Go ahead and click finish here. It's going to run some post installation batch files here to finish up Apache. Now it gave me that MySQL error because I already actually have MySQL on here running. So we'll go ahead and you can see this here. This is basically just a little admin. You can actually click on the one here for Apache. It's going to take you to localhost. Uh, you choose the language that uh, you're going to use. And typically the first thing that I do is I go right over here to security. It's going to load this page up <coughs> and it's going to tell you what's secure and what isn't secure. So we'll go ahead and click this and then we'll set the MySQL password. Uh, we'll take it from this Okay, so now that MySQL password's been set, uh, what we can do is we'll open up MySQL Workbench. Now, if you don't have this, which you probably didn't in the first place, uh, you can just download this from the MySQL website. Once this loads up here, we'll go ahead and double click on here, and we'll create a new schema. We'll call this schema test. XMPP, right? And then we'll hit apply, apply, and finish. Okay, so now that we have test XMPP, this is our uh, database here. We will go ahead and download the XMPP server. So the way we can do that is we just type in open fire take us right here and we'll go ahead and download open fire 3.7.0 and we'll choose the download for Windows now I already did that to speed up the process so we'll go ahead and click on run And then we'll go ahead and launch Open Fire. And we'll go ahead and launch the admin panel. Now when this comes up, uh, you'll be shown the setup process. So you'll choose your language, you'll hit continue. Uh, the domain, you can set that to localhost. And then we'll hit continue. Now the domain can be set to whatever your domain is. Here I'm just going to do localhost. Uh, now you get to the database settings. You can either choose to have an embedded database, but since we have MySQL installed, we'll go ahead and choose standard database connection. And it uh, gives you a better performance. First thing we'll do is we'll go to where it says database driver presets. 
and we'll go ahead and select MySQL. Now here, you're going to have to make it with your information. So you go ahead and delete the host information, type in localhost, and then the database name after the forward slash. Uh, database name we made was test underscore XMPP. Username is going to be root and the password will be whatever you set it to be. Go ahead and hit continue. And then over here is your profile settings. Now it does have stuff here for LDAP authentication and whatnot. We're going to go ahead and leave it at default. Then you'll set a administrator uh, email address. We'll just put in a generic one. You can even skip this step, which I'll just go ahead and do. And now setup is complete. So we'll go ahead and log into the admin console. Now the default password is admin, and the password here uh, is admin. So once we're in here, now you see the console. Now just to test that this is working, what we'll do is we'll go ahead and set up a user, create a new user here, is under users and groups on the users tab and I'll just create myself a generic username and we'll go ahead and choose create user now that the user's been created, what we can do is we can go ahead and launch the Spark client. Now the Spark client is also available uh, from OpenFire, so we'll go ahead and type in OpenFire. Sorry, it's available from Ignite Real Time. And then you can go to the Downloads page, and you can download Spark. Uh, it's just a simple installer. Once installed, you can just double click on the Spark icon on your desktop. That'll go ahead and launch this. And we'll go ahead and type in the username. Type in the password. And we'll try to log in. Okay. So now we're logged in. Now we don't have any friends here because uh, we haven't had anybody else join. So uh, this is basically first step to setting it up. Now we'll go into a little bit of the plugins, some of the ones that I think are pretty cool. Uh, when you go over here and you go to plugins, if you click on available plugins, this is going to show you all the ones that they have available. Uh, you have anything from integration into asterisk uh, to various uh, perform actions that can be done You know, when a user registers. Uh, what I'm going to go ahead and do is show you one that isn't on this list. Uh, if you type in Kraken Open Fire, click on the first link here. So what I'll do is I'll go to download. Okay, and now that that's finished, what we do here is we go over to this console, and we'll go to plugins, and then we choose choose a file here. So we go in, I'm going to go into my downloads, and then here's Kraken. Okay, so we'll double click on that, we'll choose to upload the plugin, it's gone ahead and uploaded it, and then now when you click over on server here, you'll notice there's an option for gateways. So with the gateways, what we can do is we can choose various ones we want to connect to like uh, AOL Instant Messenger uh, or Facebook. Okay. And then we'll go ahead and restart it back up. Now once this comes back up online you'll notice now that we have Facebook and AIM login. So if we click this, you choose to enter your login information. And now all of a sudden, you will see that my AIM contacts show up. 